Hi everybody! It's Friday. Big Dano's in. How are you doing? How are you doing today? Um, welcome in, welcome in. It is Friday, so we are doing Death Trap Dungeon. Welcome, welcome. What is Death Trap Dungeon? 
It is a classic fighting fantasy game written by Ian Livingston. It's a choose your own adventure, so I will have an adventurer who I will be sending through the dungeon. They will be making some choices as they go, uh, and there will be danger lurking around every corner. Uh, they can choose to fight the opponents, sometimes they are forced to fight them, and when they are fighting we'll be using some d6. I'll be rolling for the monsters, they'll be rolling for themselves. Whoever hits the hardest wins. Um, and there will be timed runs as well, so I can tell you that the longest survival time is 2 hours, 34 minutes and 18 seconds. That is the top time to beat. Uh, I'm good and you? Yes, Dano, I am also very good. Thank you very much. I'm feeling very festive today. Um, cool, so I think we're just going to delve right in and meet our adventurer. Hello, adventurer. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back. You look Thank very familiar. You. Do you want to tell everybody who you are, remind everyone who you are? Yes, I am Old Game Lady. Uh, that's my Twitch name. Um, I am a lady who likes to play old games, uh, including but not limited to um, Overwatch. I play uh, Dance Central on my Xbox 360. Um, I do some yoga here and there since my brother's an instructor and some cooking stuff. So just a variety streamer, but I love me some old games. So an old game lady. Well, <laughs> this falls into the old game category. It is classic. It's Perfect. from the 80s. So. <laughs> before, Perfect. Before I was even born, this game. <laughs> oh, jeez. Before I was even born. I mean, I'm, I was born in the 80s, but this was... Does it say when this was published? Uh, let me see if it tells me when it was first published. Uh, 1984. So, yeah, just before I was born. Oh, yep. Just yep, before, before me as well. Born, yeah. Just, just before I was born. I was 86, <laughs> baby. 86. 88, so oh, I'm right there with you. Where, where you can go. still say you're born in the 80s, yeah. but, I mean, you grew up in the 90s, which... Oh, yeah, I grew up in the 90s. Pretty great. <laughs> the 90s were the best to grow up in, weren't they? Really? I agree. Yeah. I definitely agree. Big Dano says he was one years old. One years old. <laughs> one years okay. old. So we're Perfect. all around the same age. Wicked. Cool, Okay. Uh, so I've given you a shout out there. So thank you again thank for you. like thank you for joining me again and giving up oh time my gosh. to be here. My pleasure. It it was so much fun. I really really enjoyed it. So as you can see, I got my my festive backdrop out. I'm 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 fully committing to this. <laughs> I love it. I had so much fun with you last week. So I'm really oh, glad thank you, you get to come back. Really really yes. glad. I got um, my map. All right. I got all my all my notes and everything. I'm ready. Cool. Okay, so just a reminder for everybody, um, it is just a classic game book, but I've put a little bit of a modern twist on it. We've applied some video game rules, so I am timing the runs, and also she gets bonus lives as well. So she's got one bonus life and one normal life left. So she's already had two attempts. She's on her third attempt through the dungeon currently. May, may I tell them how I died previously? Of course, absolutely, yes. Uh, first was Death by Boulder, a la Indiana Jones style. Um, the second time, you know, I should have went with my instincts to not eat random mushrooms that I just found in a cave. But you know what? I ate them and I died instantly. So I learned my lesson, though. Did. Or did I? <laughs> you, you did eat some random mushrooms, but you're doing very well. It seems like you've learned this time not to uh, not to trigger boulders and not to eat random mushrooms. So you're doing much better mm -hmm. this time around. So let's give a recap. Last time we saw you, so last week, you had just met the barbarian Throm, who was actually That's one right. of your competitors in the trial of champions. But you've decided to form a temporary alliance and uh, help each other out. And you've just killed some cave trolls together. So we leave. We left you at that point where you just slain a cave troll. Um, and and I, I read a red book. There was a red book and a black book, and I read the red one, but I did not read the black one. No, so the red one told you all about a fearsome, horrible creature called the Blood Beast. That's uh, so right. Who knows? That's the notepad I'm missing. The Blood Beast. 
Oh, give me one second because I remember I was telling you there was one last thing that I forgot. Give me one. I know yeah. right where it is. I apologize. It's fine. No worries at all. And so I can tell you that um, Old Game Lady is playing as Gimbal the Nimble, and Gimbal the Nimble stats currently. I found are... it. Oh my gosh. That that just reminded me because I wrote it down here, and that's the one I was missing. Yep. There you go. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. So I'm just reminding people of your stats for Gimbal the Nimble. You're currently on eight skill, eighteen stamina and 12 luck and i believe i don't think you've used have you used your luck potion yet i don't think you no have. no i have not you've but not. i did use two provisions so i'm you down did. to eight you were down to eight provisions but that's pretty good you started with you started with 10 so to have eight left at this point of the game is very very good indeed excellent so i think without further ado i think we should get back into it so we are starting at your survival time of one hour 12 minutes and 34 seconds that's where we're gonna start let's put us in some spooky wet caverns shall we of course i wouldn't there expect any less okay so you have just slain the cave troll with your Whoosh. mate throm so let's start this here we're on page 288 you look to your left and see Throm standing over the cave troll that he has slain. Blood is pouring out from a deep cut in his shoulder, but it does not seem to worry him. You search the bodies of the cave trolls, but find nothing apart from a bone ring on a leather cord hanging around the neck of one of them. The ring is engraved with a symbol, which Throm recognises. He explains that it must have belonged to druids of the north, and that an ancient talisman such as this will increase your powers if your body will accept it. Throm will not touch it and advises you to leave it while alone too. But would you like to put on the bone ring or would you like to leave it and continue east with Throm? Oh, uh, wait, so he tells me it's going to give me powers and then says, well, but I'm not going to touch it and neither should you. Well, it will give you powers if your body can withstand it. Oh. Yes, yeah, so it's a risk. I mean... It's risky, but I mean... I'm going to leave it. Already, I'm going to leave it. You're already wearing quite a lot of bone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I'm pretty lucky, but my skill's pretty low. So let's just go ahead. That's a nice ring. I'm going to leave it there. Okay, though. so you're going to leave it and continue east, turning to page 221. 221. The tunnel leads into a damp, high-ceilinged cavern with a rock-strewn floor long dripping teeth like stalactites hang down threateningly their constant dripping creating milky pools on the floor the tunnel carries on through an archway carved in the shape of a demonic mouth do you wish to search the chamber or would you rather head straight for the archway uh yeah let's search this chamber you're gonna search the chamber turn to three seven four Okay, 374. You walk through the cavern but find nothing. Well, shoot. <laughs> what a waste of time. <laughs> Rom calls out behind you, saying that he has found a leather pouch under a pile of rocks. Opening the pouch, he laughs out loud as a tiny mouse runs through his fingers and scurries off into a crevice between the two boulders. Suddenly you hear the sound of cracking rock above you and look up to see stalactites breaking off the roof. Throm's booming laugh, which still echoes through the chamber, has made the stalactites vibrate and break off. You yell at Throm to run through the archway as the stalactites start to crash to the floor. Test your luck. So, testing your luck, just a reminder, you're rolling both dice. Mm -hmm. You've got a luck of 12, so... I am um, pretty lucky. <laughs> I don't think you can so fail this it. test, but let's go for it anyway. So, roll both dice. Okay. It must be rolling equal both to dice. or less than. So I got 10. So you are very lucky. Cool. But we now have to reduce your luck by 1. So you're now down to 11 luck. You are lucky. Turn to page 118. 1. Despite the stalactites crashing all around you, you manage to dash, dash through the archway without injury. 
you look around and see Throm thundering towards you, one arm held over his head for protection. He dashes into the tunnel and leans against the cold wall, panting heavily. He apologises for starting the rockfall and offers you his hand to shake. You tell Throm that maybe he should use sign language in future, even for laughing. You both smile and head east once more, turning to page 60. 16? 6 T. 6 0. 60, sorry, sorry. Yeah. 6 No, zero. no, that's fine. The tunnel ends at a large oak door. Throm waits no time in testing the handle and is somewhat surprised to find the door unlocked. He pushes it open and watch, uh, sorry, and walks into a torch-lit chamber. Sitting alone on an ornate chair is a dwarf who bids you to enter the chamber. As you do so, the oak door swings shut behind you. Adventurers, you've done well to get this far, said the dwarf in a deep voice. However, as you both know, there can only be one winner in the Trial of Champions. As Trial Master, it is my duty to Baron Suckenbit to let only the most able continue. Therefore, I must devise a test of wits and strength to eliminate one of you. Please do not attempt to dispose of me. It would be utterly pointless, for as you can see, there's no obvious way out of this chamber, and only I know where the hidden exit lies. Now, if you'd care to decide between you who will go first, I shall make the necessary preparations. You look me. over at Throm, oh. <laughs> suddenly angry that your effective partnership might have to come to an end. He leans over and whispers in your ear that you should try to kill the dwarf and worry about the exit later. Do you wish to join Throm in attacking the dwarf, or would you rather persuade Throm to go through with the dwarf's test? No, can I ju can I attack Throm? I don't trust it. I I trust the guy who says he knows where the secret exit is, not this dumb guy who almost just caused a cave in with his <laughs> dumb guy laugh. <laughs> so you can't so, attack Throm, unfortunately. Okay. So well then, let's go through with this test and just everybody know I don't trust this Throm guy. Okay, three six five, three six five. You're not trusting him. Mm mm. You say, come on, let's just go through with the task. Like, how hard can it be? Right. Three six. And five. clearly, I'm gonna win. So, like, why? I'm not scared. Okay. Well, oh, what was that? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're very confident. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Okay, you tell Throm that there's no point in killing the dwarf, but I'm gonna kill you later. That's that's what, yeah. that's what your eyes no, well, are I saying. don't tell him that, but no, that's what your eyes we say. know. <laughs> yeah. Um, as you will never find your way out of the chamber alone, you argue that an opportunity of tricking the dwarf might arise later once you have found the exit from the chamber. So you intend to go through with the dwarf's test. You tell the dwarf that you're ready, and he beckons you to follow him, telling Throm to wait for his turn. A second door opens in the chamber wall and you follow the dwarf into a small circular room. He closes the door behind you and hands you two bone dice, telling you to throw them on the floor. You roll a six and a two, a total of eight. The dwarf asks you to roll them again, but this time you must predict whether they will be the same, less or more than eight. So the same as, less or more than eight. Do you want to guess that they'll be the same? Do you want to guess that they'll be less than eight? Or do you want to guess that the total will be more than eight? Less than eight. You want to guess that the total will be less than eight. Turn to page 191. Roll two dice. So I got ten. <laughs> you got a ten. The total is higher than it. eight. Page one, two, one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you were very cocky. You were like, I'm going to beat this test. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be easy. The dwarf looks at you and the dice. Not very good at playing the odds, are you? He sneers. I regret you must suffer a penalty before you can continue. From out of his pocket, he produces two pills. One is stamped with the letter S and the other is stamped with the letter L. He asks you to choose which one to swallow. Would you like to swallow the pill stamped with the letter S or the pill with the letter L? S. S. Page 26. Page 
The pill makes you feel dull and lethargic. Damn it. Lose two skill points. Damn it. So I'm down to 16. Uh, skill. No, your skill was eight. So oh, I'm sorry. That was my stamina. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was. I was looking at my stamina. Yeah, no sorry. worries. Uh, so your skill is down to six now. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. You probably should have taken the L pill. And then well, now and I'm then, seeing that. And then just drank your potion afterwards and been like, yeah, I've got a potion for that. It's fine. Um, okay. You lose two skill points. The damn. Oh, I didn't even realize that's what that was. <laughs> I was like. I am okay. just. You know. <laughs> I, I see. I see now what happened. Think, think is, you know, if you die, you can always go back. Anyhow, the dwarf tells you that you can now progress to the second stage of the test. Also, welcome in Case the Joint. How are you today? He reaches for a wicker basket and tells you there's a snake inside. He tips up the basket and the snake drops onto the floor. It's a cobra and it rears up in the air, ready to strike you. The dwarf says he wants you to test your reactions. You must grasp the cobra barehanded below its head, avoiding its deadly fangs. You crouch down on the floor, tensing yourself for the moment at which to seize it. Roll two dice. Is this adding my my skill level, or is this nope, just the, just the okay, a straight okay. dice roll? So I just rolled a seven. Okay, so that is greater than your skill because your skill's down to six. So we're going to turn to page two zero two. Two zero two. The cobra's reactions are quicker than yours. Its hooded head shoots forward to bite you. Test your luck. So now you roll two dice, and it's got to be equal or less than 11. I got 10. Okay, well, you are lucky. Turn to page 18. But now you must reduce your luck down to 10. Come here. Okay, lucky for you, the cobra's fangs sink into your leather wristband. The snake recoils quickly, ready to strike again. As the dwarf tells you to have another go, roll two dice. <laughs> I rolled a seven. Okay, that is greater than your skill score. Uh oh. 202 again. Oh. <laughs> The cobra's okay, reactions okay. are quicker than yours again. Its hooded head shoots forward to bite you. Test your luck. So I roll again. Roll again. It needs to be equal to or less than ten. It's ten. Okay, you are lucky. Turn to page eighteen again. <laughs> Luckily, the cobra's fangs sink into your leather wristband again. The snake oh, recalls. Man, I am ready so to lucky again. But the dwarf tells you that you have to have another go. Roll two dice. <laughs> I rolled a six. Okay, it is um, the same as your skill score. Turn to page 55. 55. I gotta open the door for my dog. He's getting so mad. Hold on. Yeah, no right here. Okay, good for you. Okay, 55. Okay. With lightning 55. speed, you thrust your hand out and grip the cobra just below its open mouth. You lift it up. <laughs> And arm outstretched, you dangle it in front of the dwarf. He doesn't flinch, but says in his calm, expressionless way, Please put the cobra back in the basket and prepare for the final part of your test. Follow uh -huh. me. Uh huh. Cobras you don't scare do me. what he says and follow him back into the chamber where Throm is pacing up and down, obviously ill at ease. You wave to him while the dwarf opens the second secret door and he tells you to walk on <laughs> through and wait for him. You just, Hi, Throm. <laughs> Hi. Um, Again, you comply and you find yourself in another circular room, although this one resembles a small arena. The floor is covered with sand and a small balcony runs around the arena wall. Opposite the secret door by which you entered is an ominous looking wooden door. Suddenly you hear a shout and you look up to see the smiling dwarf standing on the balcony. He throws down two pieces of paper. On one of them are the words, no crop is... No crop is? Yep. Yeah. On the okay. second piece of paper are the words ruin moat. 
ruin moat. Yeah. In okay. his ever calm voice, he says, if you rearrange the letters of the words, you'll find the names of two creatures. You may choose which one to fight in my arena of death. Would you like to fight the Nocropis or the ruin moat? Or if you cannot identify either of the creatures, there's also an option there as well. Yeah, case the joint. So, I, I, I also think that he says uh, at this point. I always think Throm is nervously pacing like an old-timey expectant father. It's a boy. <laughs> okay, so have you figured? So do out I have to identify the animal, or can I just say I'm going to go with this one? Um, yep, you can. Whichever, if you've identified both, you can then choose whichever one you want to fight. Um. I, let me see. Oh. One is easier than the other. D. One is easier than the Is it? Are there any ghosts in chat that might be able to. There are not help. at the moment. No, unless Case okay. the Joint remembers what these are from previous runs. But we have no helpful ghosts today. Not yet. Mm. Hopefully they'll come in. but one is definitely easier than the other. As far as like what I would face, yes. like not as far, okay, okay. Yeah. Um. Case the joint says, oh. I do remember. Yeah, I do remember, Ooh. okay. Is that allowed? Can it, I mean? Yeah, I mean, you can, you can ask. How to what, hint how, though? How, would, oh. how to hint though? You you can be as vague or as just straight up with it as you want. Case the joint. You Maybe what it. if I really don't mind. what if I ask like questions about like if it would be in a zoo or where I would find it. In a zoo? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like that's I'm, I I don't know. I'm trying to think. I mean, okay. have you have you identified either one of the creatures? Also, uh, welcome, Lando. No. How you doing? Welcome him. Have you identified either of the creatures? No, I have not. Oh, crikey, Nora. Would you like a hint? Yes. One of them has two pincers and a poisonous sting. One of them is a real animal and one of them is a mythical animal. That's a good, that's a good clue. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, One of them has two pincers and a poisonous sting. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. The other you may Yeah, let's go with the scorpion. The other you may <laughs> find in a labyrinth of sorts. Let's go ahead and fight that little scorpion. Okay, just the, a little uh, scorpion, no. huh? Okay, right. We're going to go with the little scorpion, page 143. No one said it was little. You call out oh, the dwarf, telling him to sure send, in, send in the scorpion, because you're ready to fight it. Slowly the wooden door rises and a huge, grotesque black scorpion squeezes underneath it and enters the room. You draw your sword in readiness and prepare to fight the sinister creature with its huge pincers and deadly sting. A giant scorpion <laughs> has a skill of ten and a stamina of ten. Are you ready to fight? Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> so let's go. Oh, man. Okay. So, so then these are going to be all the dice rolls that I add um, eight, add your, right? Uh, you've got a skill, I believe, oh. of six because you now got bit six. by the okay. snake. Hi, Nervous That's Cabbage. Right. Thank you for the host. Okay. So with my first roll, I will have 17. I rolled a 19, so you get hit, so please reduce your stamina by two. She's just about to fight the, she's in the middle of fighting a giant scorpion nervous cabbage. I just, love just, case just, the joint said, no one said little. Yeah. <laughs> nervous cabbage All right. is also a helpful ghost, his previous adventure. Oh, yeah. hello nervous cabbage. That's perfect. <laughs> All right, so with this roll I got 15. Okay. 
Um, I forgot to tell you, uh, actually, because I got distracted by the host, but it's going to attack you with both pincers. With one you have to attack and the other you have to defend. So this would have been your defending roll. Sorry, what did you, uh, what did you roll that? Uh, 15. Um, I only rolled a 14, so you successfully defend. Okay, yes. and now it's the attack. Okay. So that will be 11. Um, I got a 13 there, so that hits you. She did fall foul to the mushrooms as well, Cabbage. She ate the mushrooms. <laughs> okay, and now you have to defend. Okay. Uh, well, did you get the 11? Was that... Uh, yeah, I got a 13, so that hit you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Got it. So then <laughs> I just rolled right here, and that will be 12. Uh, I got a 20, so that one also hits you. You do not successfully uh. defend yourself. So that hits you as well. And then do I take... Uh, do it's I take stamina? Two, it's two, okay. two damage again. Okay. <laughs> uh. All right, so, oops, I did not need to do that. Okay, rolling for the attack again. That roll is 14. I got a 13, so you hit it. Kata. Remember, you can use luck in battle to do more damage if you'd like to. Oh. Uh, nah, I'm good. Okay, okay. So now you need to defend. Okay, I rolled a 10. I rolled a 19. Oh. So that one hits you. <laughs> Take another two. Getting pinched. Pinched, pinched. I'm just doing stupid. I, I, I just keep thinking of. No one said little. That just keeps no echoing in my said mind. Like, All right, yeah, I got 13. Send in, send in that little yeah, scorpion. Send in that little scorpion. Uh, I got a 19 again, so that one snips oh, you. Snippity oh, snip. Uh, now you need to defend right. again. Alright, I got 12. Ooh, I got an 18 there. Um, and so just if I wanted to use luck, that would be like, if I hit you, I would use luck to make it more damage? Yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just make it you can so also, that was also that. use luck to decrease the damage done to you if you've been hit. Oh! So if you're taking a lot of damage, you can use the luck to reduce it, but if you fail your luck roll, it will actually do more damage to you. So it's quite risky. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that was that 12 that I had just rolled. Yeah. Um, let's see. I got a 17 there. Okay. Uh, was that an attack? That was the attack, wasn't it? So. And then we need. So to that would. So I would take more damage. Is that? Yeah. Every time I hit okay. you, you take two damage. Yikes! So I'm down to ten. Yikes! Okay. So okay. now you need to so, defend. Um, okay. So I got eleven. I got a fourteen there. So she's currently working with a skill of six, unfortunately. So. Uh, and I'm on a skill of ten. There's quite a big gap there. Oh, so I rolled an 18. I got a 19. So that hits. That hits. Okay. okay. So I got a 9. I got a 14. So is that an attack or a defend? I can't remember. I think that's a defend because I, think I just took that. Well. Uh, nervous coverage says these rolls are just b brutal. Yes, they are. Yeah. And I'm taking great pleasure in this. <laughs> okay, so, um, so that was a defend. Now we've got an attack. Okay. Uh, so I got a, uh, sorry, a 14. I got um, an 18 there. So that hits you. <gasps> <laughs> sure, send in that little scorpion. Send in the little scorpion. Uh, Famous last words. Now we're defend, I got a, a defending roll. 15. I got an 18 again. So that hits me as well. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm not doing very good not, here. I was like, she's gonna do fine. I don't need to think about bringing on another adventure. We're gonna be fine. Uh, okay, attacking. You got 12. I got 14 there. <laughs> Down to two. Uh oh. Um, okay. Yeesh. Got a 12. 14 here. 
so snip, does that snip. mean that... Uh, can I snip, maybe snip. try and do a little bit of luck snip, to... Snip. <laughs> you can, yeah. I mean... I mean, you've got a luck of 10, you might as well. Have a little roll, see if it does it less damage. That way you would okay. be on one health, right? Now is the and this would be just the two dice without any modifiers, yes, right? It's gotta be okay. less to equal to or less than ten. It's six. Okay, so you are lucky, so you've got one health left. Okay. One health. <laughs> and what's this scorpion at? Oh god, I don't like this. The scorpion bit. is I still on nine health. Oh god, I got fourteen. I got an 18. She dead. <laughs> she dead. She dead, guys. But she's still got one life left. One well, then I gotta draw Scorpion. <laughs> um, Scorpion is still 9,000 health. <laughs> 9,000! That's what it feels like. Okay, so death by Scorpion. Uh, I mean, what a way to go, huh? And that was at 1 hour 37 and nine seconds. I just want to show my little scorpion that I drew right there. <laughs> there you go. Just just send in the, the little scorpion. Just That's the little, this little scorpion. Yeah. Sure. Easy, easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, I have to give you my sad trombone. I'm sorry. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take that off and put that one on because you've still got your bonus life there. So we're going to be using the bonus life now. It's probably like Final Fantasy. You beat it. It just transforms six times. Yep. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I am going to give you the option of going back to um, where you defeat the goblins or back to where you've killed the cave troll. Oh, wait a minute. So when I was with Throm and I didn't put on the ring, wh where was that? Which which one um, was that? So that was just after you'd uh, killed the cave troll. And then you said the other one was well, one. Just, oh, so you the one where you'd burst through the door with the goblins and attack the goblins. So you can go back to either one of those save points. I'll let you go back to either one of those. So wait, back from last time or from today from last time so you, can you just want me to get in that pipe don't I you do. i really want you to okay my then i'm gonna go there because i do and that's how i knew because it says pipe and there's two guys there and i'm like is that where the pipe is i'm gonna get in that damn pipe I go really ahead want put me you back to there explore my pipe. i'm gonna i want to go in that pipe <laughs> yes. yes okay um i mean this could this could this could end in this could end in death though so be if, careful. if all it does is show you what happens when somebody gets in that pipe, I will be happy. No one's ever got in the pipe. So I'm just I like, please. get in that pipe. The pipe is Get in that pipe for neglected. you, Vicky. Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to head back to page 136 at the time of 58 minutes and 16 seconds. You had a skill of 8, a luck of 12, and you had 10 provisions at that point. And you're going to respawn with full stamina. So you'll have 22 stamina. Okay, hold on. Let me um, let me get this over here. So you said... So uh, a stamina of 22, yeah. a skill of 8, and a luck of 12? Yeah, that's right. And you had 10 provisions. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're going back. I like it. Two... 58 minutes and 16 seconds. This is my Christmas gift to you. <laughs> and you, likewise, mine to you. Letting you get into my pipe. Encouraging you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just putting the pipe out there. Like I, I'm glad that I could be the first person to go into that pipe for you. <laughs> <laughs> It's so neglected. I know, but that's what, that's what I'm saying is I, I realized that's where you were trying to put me and because I, I literally drew that and wrote pipe. <laughs> just Wait, let me just show you. Pipe. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Oh, wait. Yeah. Wait, wait, this way. It's there. Yeah, pipe? <laughs> so there Is we go. Is a guy's on a pipe? <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> what? Right, we're going back to page 136. This is my gift to you, taking you all the way back to 136. <laughs> okay. Okay. 136. The door opens into another tunnel, which rises gently into the distance. After walking uphill for a while, the tunnel levels out, and you soon arrive at a door in the right-hand wall. Oh, where's this? Oh, yeah, this is just where you've done the goblins. Okay. Um, to which withered hand is nailed? Do you wish to open the door, or would you rather continue north? So there's a withered hand nailed. Oh, I've not started the timer. Hang on a second. <laughs> there we go. Um, okay. A withered, a withered hand nailed to a door. So, and I drew that here, and I think I just passed it, because I don't want anything to happen between me and this pipe here. I'm going right to that pipe. You're going I'm going north. To the pipe. So you're going to continue north, page 78. There is an open pipe in the right-hand wall, about a meter in diameter, and it calls to you. It so needs to be explored. I hear it. Please, I hear please, it. Please. <laughs> Get inside me! <laughs> it's too dark to see far down. You shout into it and hear your own voice echoing down the iron pipe until eventually the sound fades away. Do you wish to crawl down the pipe or continue heading north? You bet your sweet ass I'm gonna climb in that pipe. Oh, yes! <laughs> three, zero, one. Three, zero, one. I'm so excited. Three, we are in zero, uncharted one. territory here, people. Three zero one. We're on episode ten, and no one has explored this pipe before. It's been Instant death. <laughs> okay, right. the pipe is wet and slimy, <laughs> but you crawl on into the dank darkness, slithering and sliding as you go. Suddenly, your hand touches something hard and square, which feels as if it's made of wood. It rattles as you shake it, and you decide you must be holding on to a box. Would you like to- A bomb? A box. A box. Oh, a box. <laughs> sorry, sorry. A box. <laughs> sorry. Now, would oh. you like to crawl back out of the pipe to examine your findings? Sure. Or would you rather press on further down the pipe, taking the box with you in order to examine later? Uh... So I so I can't see right here. My my choice is either to get back out of the pipe with the box or take the box with me deeper into the pipe. Yeah. So come out or slide further in. I <laughs> I think the pipe is I think I want to be safe. I think I'm going to yeah. I'm going to slide out. Pipe is feeling I mean very uncomfortable with you inside it for this long to be honest. Um <laughs> <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I better. I'm, I'm gonna get out of the pipe and I'm gonna go see what's in the box. Yeah, I mean I'm helping you a lot, but it's just because I'm so excited. Right, one six two, one six two. Um, removing the box lid by the light of the tunnel, you find an iron key and a large gem. It's a what? You found a sapphire and a large oh. iron key. <sighs> Add oh one luck point. My what? Oh my god! You just this got lucky with a pipe. Where did I get lucky? You okay. place the items carefully into your backpack and you set off north once again. And I'm telling you that pipe is satisfied. What? <laughs> It was a little slimy at first, but well, it was just so all wet. in all, I'm glad I went in. It was so wet for you. Um, <laughs> right, turn to 142. 142. Okay. That is the highlight of my day right there. <laughs> you sliding into my pipe. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad. I'm glad that I could do that for you. Thank you. That is That was very, very good for me. Was it good for you? <laughs> It was it was pretty good. Like I said, it was a little slimy, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it though. 
There is a new branch in the tunnel on the left, and you he- and ahead you see two bodies lying on the floor. You stop and peer down the new tunnel, but see no doors or creatures, so you decide against walking down there. And with your sword drawn, you will walk over to where the bodies lie, and you turn to page 338. The bodies are those of two orc guards. At least one of your rivals in the trial of champions must still be ahead of you. A quick search of the bodies produces nothing apart from a necklace of teeth hanging around the neck of one of the orcs. Do you wish to wear the necklace or set off north without the necklace? Mm, no, I'm, I'm good without the necklace. You're good without it. You're going to set off north without it. Page 282. Did I put it on last time? I think you might have. That's fine. <laughs> but you've made your decision now. <laughs> no, I, yeah, it was just, well, because I didn't write north. You said I continued north and I didn't see that. And I was just like, oh, that's interesting. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. So the, I don't need this. You don't need, I don't need anything. those teeth. The tunnel soon ends at a junction. Standing there alone and wondering which way to go is one of your rivals. It's one of the barbarians. And you call out to him. Oh. But at first, he does not answer, and you're getting a strange sense of deja vu here. Yeah. He merely stares at you coldly, his hands firmly gripping his axe. You walk up to him and ask which way he's heading. He grunts his reply, saying that he's going west, and you may go with him if you wish. Would you like to go west with the barbarian, or decline his offer and head east alone? You know what? I remember you saying that we have a, a ghost in here. Um, I I think I just want to make sure that, that Throm is on the up and up and make sure that I sh- should go with him. If if nerv- Nervous Cabbage is still around. <laughs> Trying to contact the ghost of Nervous Cabbage. Oh, Nervous Cabbage, I summon you. <laughs> if you're still there. Is Throm no, trustworthy? I think I think perhaps Nervous Cabbage has floated on. That's right. Yeah. I th- think it's fine to explore your options here. Well, that like as in like just go on or explore my options as in explore my options with Throm. Um <laughs> Throm's an option. <laughs> he is an hey, option. I already got in your pipe, okay? Oh, I don't need Throm distracting me over here. <laughs> so satisfied that you got in my pipe. Honestly, I'm going to be good for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm so glad. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let, let's let's hang out with Throm here. Okay, uh, so you're going to go uh, west uh, with the barbarian. Oh, yeah. Turn to 22. <laughs> although you are slightly uneasy in each other's company knowing that there can only be one winner in the trial of champions you're both content to share the benefits of a temporary alliance you begin to tell each other of your exploits so far of the monsters and traps encountered and the dangers you've overcome walking along you see you soon come to the edge of a wide pit it's too deep and dark to see the bottom the barbarian offers to lower you down with his rope, saying he has a torch which he can light for you to use. You can accept his offer and let him lower you down. You can offer to lower him down if he's so eager to investigate the pit, or you can suggest that you both jump over the pit instead. I suggest we both jump over the pit. I don't think anyone's ever done that before, so I'm very excited. Page 311. 311. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a death. (laughs) Fingers crossed. Okay. The barbarian reluctantly agrees to your alternative suggestion. You both step back and take running jumps over the pit, landing safely on the other side to continue down the tunnel. The barbarian who is leading the way suddenly stumbles on a floor stone which tilts forward, triggering a boulder loosely set in the ceiling. It crashes down on top of him, knocking him to the floor and crushing his skull. You must continue your quest alone. 
Tony. Thanks, Throm. See you later. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. But rather you than me. Um, <laughs> imagine if you'd oh, gone first. I'm. You know what? Oh, yeah, I'm really glad I explored my options there. <laughs> We're gonna go to page three two five. You stand up and carry on down the tunnel. Suddenly you see daylight at the end of the tunnel. You run forwards towards the most beautiful sight you've ever seen. A clear blue sky and green trees. You walk as fast as you can towards the end of the tunnel and emerge expecting to see the welcoming sight of cheering people. But there is no hero's welcome from the people all around you. They're all dead. You are standing what? in a cold chamber littered with armoured skeletons and bodies. The exit to victory was just an illusion. Only the corpses of past adventurers are real. Utterly dejected, you walk back towards the tunnel, but you hit an invisible barrier. You are trapped in this ghoulish place and destined to end your days in the chamber of the dead. No! <laughs> Oops. All right, well, <laughs> at least someone got in the pipe. Someone <laughs> did get in the pipe. Like I said, I'm going to be good for the rest of the day. Um. Then then <laughs> if that's all that came of it, then I am satisfied. But we are only 50 minutes into stream and I don't have any backup option. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's fine. I, it's my fault. I, I didn't think to have anybody else lined up. I just thought you were going to absolutely smash it. So your, I did too. Your time there was 1 hour, 8 minutes and 40 seconds, which gives you a top time of 1 hour, 37 minutes and 9 seconds. Let's see where that puts you on the leaderboard. Um, I actually want to have like a leaderboard scene set up at, at some point so we can actually live, like go and look oh, at that it would live. Be so cool. um, but at the moment, I'm working with pen and paper. Um, <laughs> so you are one hour, uh, 37, one hour, 37. That puts you f uh, fifth, fifth on the leaderboard there. So you're top five. Hey, that's my lucky number. I'll you're, take it. There you go. You're in the top five. But for now, unfortunately, I've got to give you the sad trombone. And to that, I respond with a slide whistle. We didn't hear it again. I don't know why. I didn't hear it. You did it? No, I didn't hear it. <coughs> there we go. I heard. I definitely heard it that time, but I did not hear it the first time. I love okay. a slide whistle. Love a slide whistle. Oh my goodness. So oh. what on earth are we gonna do for the rest of stream? I don't um, know. I don't know. Is there anybody in chat who might want to give this a go? Um, so if, if not, we're, we'll just have a short one this week. Just a short one. Because sometimes that's just the way it goes. Yeah. That is just the way it goes. Um, sometimes you think it's the in. exit and it's eternal doom. You know? It happens. Yeah. At least I'm not a slave like Joe. Ha! Well, uh, the slaves will probably get fed though, right? Oh, crap. You're right. <laughs> you, you will just have to survive on your provisions until you finally succumb to death. Well, what a ray of sunshine you are! <laughs> <laughs> just doing my job! Just doing my job as the narrator, the dungeon narrator. Um, That's true. It's the only time I get to be a bit evil, so... <laughs> Alright, well, you're doing a great job. <laughs> Thanks, I'd like to think it's a worthwhile... Uh, a worthwhile um, career that I've, I've, I've uh, gone on here. Yeah, um, well, all, all the effort that you're putting into evil is paying <laughs> off, so keep it up. <laughs> right, let me give you a shout out here. Do you want to tell people what you've got coming up? Have you got any streams coming up within the next um, couple of weeks before Christmas? Let's see. Um, Not not particularly. I'm really bad at scheduling stuff. Um, Fine. I would like to do um, sort of like an arts and crafts. Like I do um, calligraphy and... Um, Sometimes I just create little like postcards and things like that and, um, you know, maybe send them out to my subs, depending on if that's something that they would like. Oh, um, so probably a craft stream coming up here within the next week or so. Cool. Nice. And are you all, yeah. all ready for Christmas? 
Um, it's just about, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm less of a celebrator of holidays. I don't, I, I'm not, not that I'm a Grinch, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I just, I, I hate decorating because I hate having to clean it up. So that's just me. So I, I have some green idea. screen Christmas backgrounds that, oh, nice. that, that works there. When it gets a little closer, I'll, I'll start whipping out. I think I have like four or five of them. Cause in addition to this, I have my green screen. So nice. I'll be doing some some green screen holiday backgrounds there. I think that's thank good. you so much for having me. Oh, it was so you. much fun. Honestly. Even though I met certain doom after oh, crawling into that pipe there. <laughs> well, no, the pipe was good. The pipe was very oh, well, good. Yeah. yeah, you just maybe should have gone down into the pit with Rom. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> see, that teaches me. Next time, you guys, next time you're in a pit, just go ahead and crawl down into it. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? Worse. Just stop jumping over stuff. Yeah, I guess um, so. But it's been an absolute pleasure. Simple. Thank you so much for taking the time today to come on. I, oh, I, I've absolutely it was my loved pleasure. It. I've absolutely loved it. <laughs> Thank you for guests. having me. Cool. Well, I'm sorry that that was so short for you. Oh, that's okay. I mean, for me, I, I, I'm fine. I'm hoping that your viewers, uh, they're, they're not too disappointed. <laughs> fine i think maybe i might switch over to some words on stream perhaps i think i might oh, okay. i might continue so we'll end this one and then i'll come back with with something else because i have to change Perfect. quite a lot of stuff around <laughs> yeah we've got well a thank lot you so paths. much that's fine the case of joint says we've got a lot of new paths explored we did we did so there basically you go. anyone like anyone who's paid attention to everyone else's adventures they should stand a very good choice, very good chance, sorry, of getting out. If they swat up, your sacrifice will help future generations. And I, like I said, I'm, I'm, the, I'm glad that I could be the first one to trod that pipe territory yeah. for you. <laughs> I'm still really satisfied after that. Very yeah. satisfied. <laughs> good. Right. Good. I'm going to let you get on with your day and your weekend. I'm glad that we could do this on a Friday. Actually, that's really fun. Yeah. On the weekend. Like, I, I don't right? Know now you do. got you got a half day Friday almost. You get a, you know, your Saturday. There you go. I know. I've got a free weekend. Although I probably need to plan the Christmas special for next week because that's going to come around so fast. Oh, um, yeah. Right? I haven't done anything for that, but I'm going to need like a whole different background, whole different like soundtrack, different sound effects. It's oh, going to be a lot of work. <laughs> I haven't even started Hey, like yet. I said, a, a, a plus production value. Thanks. Except for something that happened and then it went down to A minus. But other than that, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Right. I'll let you go. Thank you so All much. Right. Thanks, Vicky. Have a great day. Oh, I will. Thank you, darling. Have a good one. You Bye. too. Bye. Oh man, she was such a good guest. I love having her on. Absolutely love having her on. Right, I don't have anyone else. I don't have anybody else lined up because I honestly thought she was gonna smash it. So my bad. I didn't um I didn't line anybody else up. But that's okay. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna end the stream early. Um and I'll change a few things around and um then we can come back and maybe do some words on stream or um I think I might we might we could do words on stream for about an hour and then um I'm gonna hop off and, and get some other stuff done. Does that sound good to everybody? But yes, another adventurer has been claimed by the dungeon. <laughs> but I'm so glad she got to explore that pipe. Um cool, okay, we'll we'll do we'll do some of that then. Um But that's just how it goes. Unfortunately, that sometimes that is just how it goes. So she explored the pipe but unfortunately, we did find the key. We found the key and we found a sapphire as well. So um, the key and the sapphire, I think, are going to be really important to, to succeeding in the dungeon. Um, for anyone else who wants to have a go. Case the joint, when are you going to come on and have a go? When are you, Just to put you on the spot there, when are you going to come on and have a go? But yes, the dungeon has claimed another life. It is fully fed and satisfied. Ugh. Yes. Um, so next week, next week. So there will not be a death trap dungeon. That is the last death trap dungeon of the year. Um, so we will resume in January. But there is going to be a Christmas special next Saturday, and we are going to be doing. Let me show you. We're going to be doing Twas. Twas the Krampus Night Before Christmas. So we're going to be doing. It's another game book, another adventure game book. Um, but it is uh, 
festive <laughs> um, and I, I actually really like the myth of the Krampus and I love the Krampus movie as well um, so we are going to be doing that and I'm not sure whether I'm going to be narrating or whether I'm going to be um, I don't know whether I'm going to be the adventurer I might end up being the adventurer next week which would be a good twist you don't have a good setup no worries case that's fine I thought I'd, I thought I'd extend the invitation but that's actually not that's absolutely fine um, so we will resume this in January um, so if you if anyone watching wants to be an adventurer in January um, please send me a DM and we'll get that set up there's gonna be I think this is episode 10 and I want to do a 15 episode season so there'll be five more episodes and as always if someone makes it out I will send them the book I'll send them a physical copy of the book if they're happy to give me their address that is um, otherwise they always get a uh, certificate anyway of participation but otherwise it will go to whoever holds the top spot the top spot um, on the leaderboard and I believe Joe now holds the top spot um, so I think I messed that up before I think I think I said the time to beat was 2 hours 34 and 18 seconds but actually the time to beat is 2 hours 41 minutes and 4 seconds I hadn't updated my own little thing there um, so Joe holds the top spot at the moment so we need to knock Joe off I want someone to make it out before the end of the season um, and then we'll be doing we'll be moving on to a different book so yeah that's it from me today thank you to Sirenscape for the music as always all the music and sound effects are by Sirenscape and the book of course is Death Trap Dungeon by Ian Livingston so um, yes join me next week where we will be doing Twas the Krampus Night Before Christmas a Christmas special but until then um, I shall bid you adieu and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend um, and I will try to switch over to something different now for you guys who want to stick around um, but yes goodbye <laughs>